Hello everyone, it's me, Forrest Gump, and I'm here with yet another food, Crystal's food, Forrest Gump's food reviews and other things. And today my other thing is, Tammy, bet y'all didn't know who this was till I opened my mouth. No idea. Oh, uh, Crystal, you're sitting beside a scary nine. It's me, okay, and we just did a mukbang over on my channel. And now guess what? We're over here. We're over here. And I'm not really Forrest Gump. It's me, Crystal. See, look. Oh, I, yeah. It's not. It's not the real Forrest Gump. It's Halloween. And we're dressing up. Happy Halloween, everybody. And as Skeletal Crystal would say, Happy Halloween. <laughs> oh, damn. Where is she? I left her at home. Oh, okay. She hasn't recovered from being in Canada lockup. For real. Damn it, I forgot about her. We are at uh uh Shake Shack. Huh? Wait. We're at Steak, steak and Shake. Shake. Same, same thing. thing. Same, same thing. thing. We are at Steak and Shake. And we just ate a full meal, but we're about to eat another. For you guys. Oh. I gotta have a, a Frisco melt meal. Frisco melt where? Number three. Hi, we're gonna get started fresh for you today. How you doing? Awesome. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, can I get the number three with the Diet Coke? Hell yeah. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. You want Coke Zero or Diet Coke? Coke Zero. Uh, could I change that to a Coke Zero instead of the Diet Coke? My bad. Yeah, absolutely. What else for you? And then could I get, uh, I'll try the Chili Mac. All right, what else for you? And then could you give me uh, just a little chili burger, the single, or I'm sorry, the garlic bur burger. What a garlic single justice sandwich? Yes. Your meal today at the number three with Coke Zero, a chili mac on the side, and a single garlic justice sandwich for you. You got it, and I'll also take a small peanut butter cup blizzard. I'll take it. Chocolate shake. <laughs> and a small chocolate shake. <laughs> That'll do me. Are you in there, sir? Okay, ma'am. I'm going to read that back because okay. someone else is putting the order in. Okay. To number three with fries and Coke Zero, a chili mac on the side, a single garlic on the side, a small peanut butter cup shake for you, and a small chocolate shake for you. Is that correct? You got it. <clears throat> One moment, we'll have that toner ready for you. Okay? Thank you. <clears throat> you want me to pull around or you want me to wait? The toner going to be 29, 22. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I don't even know what chili mac is. What is that? It's spaghetti noodles with chili on top and cheese and onions. And the reason I know, guess who used to work here? Me. Do they have this when you worked up here? They sure did. See, I just come up and get the, so when you worked here, I was in junior high and I'd come up here and get, you didn't work at this location, but I'd come up there and, and I'd get burgers off. You'd sneak me burgers. I'd wait out the back. You can't sneak a, you can't, uh, sneak a spaghetti noodle. Well, here's what would happen. I would come up. She knew I was coming up after school, okay? And she'd make a burger and sneak it and pretend she was taking the trash out. She'd put the burgers on top of the trash bag, and I'd be there waiting by the dumpsters. She'd come out and throw the bag and then sneak me a little. Mm -hmm. I never got the chili mac. So. You can't, you can't easily take out a bowl of chili mac. Yeah, that's going to be hard, hard to sneak. Absolutely. That's why I always, when I worked at, at these places, I smoked. Because you could always say, either I'm taking out the trash or I'm going for a smoke. <clears throat> and what are they going to say? Right. They ain't going to say nothing. You, no. you have a right as an American to have a smoke break. How you doing? Good, how about you? I'm good. Did you get spooked? Did I not spook you? <laughs> Damn. Didn't spook his ass. 
That's the largest straw I've ever seen. Thank you. Could I get an extra little straw for a soda pop? They didn't give me one at Popeyes. Thank you. There's your card. Protect it. Don't let nobody steal your identity. I know most of y'all are cool watching, but then every once in a while you're gonna have a motherfucker that's want to try to steal her identity. And we're not gonna let that happen. Look at the diameter of this. Compared to this. Oh, that's everything? Thank you. Large. That's how you can suck up that chocolate shake. This exactly. Guy really busted that open. <laughs> All right, let's pick a, let's get a spot here. Hey, the steak and shake is popping right now. Lots of people here. Lots of people here. Oh, this is the wrong shake. Oh, you got this peanut the butter? Peanut butter. That's all right. Just switch me. Mm. Lord. You're jostling me around today. It's me jostling. Darrell just put new brake pads on. I, I still got to get used to them. He loves putting new stuff on cars that don't need it. I was about to say, and then it did, didn't need new brake pads. He just likes to do that shit. Sorry. I said, baby, the brake pads are fine. All right. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. They actually have... Damn! Ketchup in here. Oh, yes. Mmm. Oh, look at it. The little baby crispy fries. This is my drink from Popeyes. They didn't give us a straw over there, so I had to raw dog the rim. What you got there? That's yours, I believe. Okay. Is this my chili mac? Whoa! The fuck? What the fuck? Little crackers? What the hell? I didn't even know this existed. You're gonna get that all over your little white. Well, it's kind of like a bib. Bib. It's a nun bib. All right, I'm going to dig into it. Call me crazy, but it don't smell that good. It smells very uh, holiday, like there's cinnamon in it. Maybe I'm tripping. Is this going to beat Jollibee's drive through spaghetti? And before you ask, no, I did not have a professional makeup person come in. A professional... FX uh, movie people come in and do my makeup. I did this. Even though she can afford it. Just because you can afford something don't mean you have to go get it. Right. I don't like this. At all. Mm. Let me try just the chili part. Am I tripping? Do you like this crystal? It's all right. I wouldn't eat it every day. I can't handle that. And if you was a good nun, you would say, I'm gonna feed this to my people and you go out and give it to little children who are hungry. But I'm an evil dead nun. I can't do nothing when I'm dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, you're a dead nun. I'm a dead uh, I thought you just got in a fight or something. Well, that's how I died. Got in a fight. And, well, I hadn't thought this out yet. I don't know. I don't know how I died. But I'm bruised up. Who's going to fight a nun? Right. 
You want to taste these fries? They are crispy and delicious. Look how little. Look how little. Oh, shit. I forgot to even showcase them. You got to showcase them. Mm. Sometimes I get so excited about the food, I can't even showcase. As you can see, there's some grease stains up here to, mm. to prove that they're delicious. Man, these are good. All right. Life is like a box of fries. You never know what you're going to get. So clever and smart. So clever and smart. Mm. This is popping. I'm not going to lie. Now, I thought there'd be chunks in there, and there's really not. It's smoothed up in there. Mm-hmm. Chunks. It's smooth. Mmm. Oh, good. All right. Here's my garlic burger. Oh, that looks delicious. And now I have had one of these. We've mukbanged this before, and it was fucking good. Look at the. Well, I'll take a thumbnail while you got that nice sandwich right there. Ready? Hold on, let me get on my, my... Jeez. Jeez. <gasps> that was a good one. All right, I'm going to dig in. Now, she's got meat on her. She's got crispy cheese. Mm. The meat's crispy. She's got the cheese. You got some sort of garlic sauce. In the burger, and then some sort of garlic butter on top. Mm. What is that noise? My throat. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cum bubbling up. <laughs> Try to like. come back up and say hi. <laughs> <laughs> that was getting up there. This place is busted. Mm. Damn, that's good. <laughs> I thought you would possess. <laughs> possess for a second. Dang. I can't mm. get nothing out of here. If you are a garlic lover, you're going to love this sandwich. Mmm. Garlic explosion. Mmm. I want to. We're having a napkin. I'm going to talk about something here for a minute. Go ahead. I brought a couple of my creations. You've been working hard on them. I wanted to show people. If you don't know, while we're on tour, she does the comedy. I go <laughs> with. And I sit in the back uh, alleyway or gangway, wherever it is, and sell stuff that I make. And my business is called... Crystals Creations LLC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure what the LLC stands for, but my accountant advisor said, I advise you to get this. Right. The first thing. I get emotional. Well, because it's beautiful. And I'm already making stuff for Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a... Well, let me preface this by saying this. You In your bathroom, you have this. Wow, it looks nice. Cute. Wonderful. But you can take this. You just wait. Get ready for this. Get ready for this. Get ready. You can take that. Guess what, folks? You've got this. Can you see this sitting on your vanity in your bathroom? That's Santa Claus. She made this. Look. Talent. I've never seen anything so beautiful. And I know you're working down there hard on them. Every time, every time I go to your room, what are you doing? Crocheting. Knitting and crocheting. You could put this out at Christmas, but honestly... You keep it all year round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really reminds good. you that the holiday season is approaching and to love people. Just really cute. So she sells all her creations in the back alley. 
of the shows. So if you can come, hit her up out in the back alley. She got a table set up with all her stuff on there. Oh, I've got to get this other one. This other one's really cute. This is my favorite. This is one that I had made many, many years ago. That kind of gave me the idea. Let me just. Need help? No, I just wanted to. I wanted to show something. You want this sitting on your sink next to your toilet? Okay. Wow, it looks really nice. Boring. Wait for this. You just wait. You're taking it from a zero to a ten. The toilet paper roll is inside. Look. Nobody knows that you have extra toilet paper sitting on your sink oh. because you have a beautiful doll. Look how cute she is. Looks like me when I was little. Adorable. Now, how long does that something like that take you to make? Oh, this takes three, four hours. That's if I'm getting all the stitches right. Yeah. It takes her a long time, you guys. Now, I'm not making the dolls. I'm buying the dolls at a Hobby Lobby or Michael's Craft Store and putting them inside of here. Mm -hmm. So you can see her little feet there. Yeah. But all this, I'm making. Mm -hmm. And this is the kind of example of things that you can find outside of Trailer Trash Tammy concert in the alley. Tables are set up. Crystal's Creations. Crystal's Creations. Yep. This one is not for sale because this is one of my originals, but this is a prototype for other ones. I have different colors. Mm -hmm. Christmas colors, Easter colors, um, Thanksgiving colors. Birthday colors. Birthday colors. Really beautiful. Take your bathroom accessories from this to this. Don't look like everybody else's bathroom. Okay, that's boring. And do you think that you want to go in someone's bathroom and see an unsightly roll of toilet paper just sitting there like that? No! To remind you that people are wiping their asses when they're in there? Mm-mm. You get this, you'll forget all about what the reason for toilet paper is. Right. Crystal, I think the, the your creations are wonderful. And I think you have really built a business and a brand that you should be proud of. Because you started that just for fun. Just for fun. And now look at you. You got your Christmas, Crystal's Creations LLC. I'm a business owner. That's amazing. I'm a woman in business. Yes, you are. And just to think, people, women used to not even be able to vote, and now I own Crystal's Creations LLC? Exactly. Exactly. They used, they used to burn women at the stake for being witches, and now I own a business? Right. Exactly. If I was back in those times, guess what? They see me making this, guess oh, what? Oh, oh, Burning me It's stake. over for you. It's over for you. Witch. It's over for you. You all right? I'm all right. I just lost my burger. Oh, where's your burger go? <laughs> Hold on. You lost your burger. I see it. It's on okay, the, it's on the floor. It's on the damn floor. Lord. Y'all, I finished my burger. Already? Yeah. Is that all your food? Well, I just got a little baby burger. I did finish my food because I'm not eating that noodle shit. You want to try mine? No. I'm not I, I'm not even hungry. I'm not really that hungry either. They just I? like to see us eat on here, so I feel like I'm not doing a good job at mukbanging if I'm not eating. Show them what you got. All right. So, it's called the Frisco Melt. I don't know if they named it after San Francisco or what, but it's kind of got a patty melt vibe to it. It's got the meat on there. It's got the cheese. Two types of cheese, it looks like. Yep, Swiss and American. And what else? And a Frisco sauce, which is like a Thousand Island type sauce. Really good. That sounds good. I think I have had one of those now that you say it. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. My little noodles came with these little crackers. West Minister Baker's Company, New England Original Oyster Crackers. 
I didn't know they could make crackers out of oysters. I didn't know either. Why would I want seafood with my spaghetti? That don't seem like it would mix well. And they need to have a warning on there that says shellfish. So people that are allergic to fish don't eat that. Right. Let me see if it's got it on there. Nope. No warning. No warning for that, shellfish. That could be a death sentence for someone. Come on, man. You can't just be passing out oysters not putting the shellfish thing on there. Damn. Let's see if there's any. There is not. This is smooth, baby. Which is fine, but I did want some chunk. Mm. Did you mm. want to talk about my other thing? Yeah. Your fingers clean? They're clean. Hey, sure. Clean. How many things am I going to drop today? We had a, one of our best friends in the whole world send us something. And I'm just going to show you. I, I'm not going to prolong it anymore. One of our best friends, John Stamos, just wrote a book. Okay. He sent Krista one. And he sent me one. And he both wrote us a note inside. Okay? He wrote us a very loving note inside. Alright, I'm going to read it. And then I'll tell you what mine says. I left mine at home. Crystal. Love you so much. You are a dear friend. And an all around beautiful woman. Can't wait to mukbang with you. And my other favorite gal. Tammy. Love you more than anything. John Stamos. Okay. You want to know what mine said? Mm. And I'm paraphrasing. Tammy, you are amazing. I love you very much. You are the queen of mukbanks. And I cannot wait to not only mukbank with you, but I cannot wait to hug you and hold your body close to mine in a friend way. Love you more than anything, John Stamos. So we're best friends with John Stamos. And he's going to mukbank with us one day. And he wrote a book that I'm excited to read. Because I think he's got a lot of things to say. So John, if you're watching this, we love you. And we're very proud of the book that you wrote. Okay? And we can't wait to mukbang with you. And if you're watching and you're not John Stamos, get his book! Mm -hmm. He had sent me a message on Instagram. And I thought it was another one of those celebrity scams where they say, Oh, it's me, John Stamos. Please send me $1,000 so I could go on tour. Right. And I said, Tammy, look at this. Another uh, celebrity scammer trying to get another $1,000 out of me. Because it's happened before. Oh, she's, she's <laughs> wiped her savings clean. And then she looked at it and it had a blue check mark, which means it's the real John Stamos. I, I thought, why is uh, somebody pretending to be John Stamos asking for my address? Did I not freak out when I said, Crystal, that's the real John Stamos? Yep. Lost your mind. And I started crying because I said, how does John Stamos know who we are? He must wa wash our muck banks. He must watch our muck banks. This is going to be a good book. John Stamos, we love you. I'm on page five. Getting, I'm going to take it with us when we go on tour here pretty soon. I'm going to read it in the car. That's our man right there. Hey, one of these days, this is what it's going to look like during the mukbang. Except it's not, <laughs> it's not going to be a book. It's going to be real. He's going to be right here. And I'm going to go, he's going to go, hey, Crystal, pass me a napkin. And yeah, she's I'll just going to, or I'll go, I got it. And I'll go, here, John. And I'll go, uh, just take one out of here, John. Yeah. And then uh, I'm going to say, Tammy, Crystal, John Stamos, when y'all ask a question. Mm -hmm. That's going to happen one day. He's going to muck bank with us. Don't ask no dirty questions because this man has a child and a wife. So don't be asking no dumb ass questions to John Stamos. 
don't know F Mary kills. None of that. Because he's already married. Right. Don't ask no dumb questions about, oh, Tammy, uh... Uh, ask John Stamos if he likes to get pegged. I'm not asking him that. <laughs> I'm just going to read a quick excerpt from the book here. I'll just pick a random page. You promise? I said to him. Yep. I just wanted you to hear it from me before you hear it from anyone else. See you on stage. Wow. That's what you're going to see in here. Wow. He's a storyteller. He's always been a storyteller in on TV. He's always been a storyteller on the stage. Singing and playing his little things that he plays. And now he's storytelling in books? Is there anything this man cannot do? Hmm. Name something John Stamos can't do. You can't. I can. Huh. Be dumb. That's the one thing he can't do. <clears throat> You're he, right. He can't be dumb. You're right. He wrote a whole book, sat at a typewriter, and typed out this many words? You gotta be smart to do that. Wow. <laughs> just incredible. And just an all-around good guy. Good-looking guy. John Stamos. John Stamos. Wow. And I, I think I think maybe he'd say, when talking about us, he'd say, those are my girls. We're his girls. Those are my, look, he looks like you here. He, he got beat up like you did. <laughs> Twins. Yeah. Twins. Yep. See, this is this is my favorite section of the books because I can just look at the pictures. Yeah, I go go straight to the pictures. Really nice. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna be month banking with us one day. Count on that. Count on that. Did I have to buy that book? No. Do you? Yes, you should. Right. He can't send free books to everybody. He just can't. You Only know what I mean? His best friends. Right. Exactly. Mm, mm. I think I'm done. I'm so full, I'm about to bust. Hey, I had a wonderful time mukbanging on Halloween, in our Halloween costumes. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and supporting us. Drop a question, and we'll do more mukbangs. Let us know where we should mukbang next. We're going to be hitting up the West Coast. Let us know of any local places where we have shows where we should eat. Yep. Okay. We love you. And thank you all for supporting Crystal's Creations. And for supporting our friend John Stamos. And thanks for supporting Sister Tammy. <laughs> right. Wow. Bye. Bye-bye.